I have a really simple task for you. Make me some scrambled eggs. Well, that's not complicated. Easy peasy. I'm gonna make a real gourmet dish. Hey, Grandma! Stop sleeping! The challenge has already started. We need to make scrambled eggs. Huh? Scrambled eggs? Why, thank you, young lady. Well, it's time to start. I'll need that oil too, Mary. Sure. You can't have scrambled eggs without oil, right? Hey, why isn't it pouring? Stupid bottle. I didn't need to get that much oil. Oops. Ted, now you take an egg. Which you'll break into the frying pan. It's very simple. Yeah! Nothing could be easier. Here we go! And one more! Well, that was almost right. These guys are useless. I can definitely beat them. Cooking's my thing. Scrambled eggs are so easy too. But I'm gonna make these a little more fun. First, I'm gonna separate the yolk from the whites. Then, I'm gonna mix up the whites until they become nice and foamy. Why is she doing all that? I have no idea. Turned out great! Now let's mix up the yolks. And pour them right into the pan. Here they go! Those are some weird scrambled eggs. Why'd you separate them? Because this makes the eggs a lot more fancier. Just look how fancy my dish looks now. Very. But I think all you need is salt and pepper to give scrambled eggs a little extra kick. <laughs> ah! Ted! What's wrong? It's so hot! Why is it hissing like that? What's happening? Help! I think my scrambled egg wants to kill me! Maybe it's because you should've turned the stove off a long time ago? You burnt them all. Oh no! That's not what was supposed to happen. Well, maybe I can make it taste better with some whipped cream. Whipped cream goes good on everything, right? Okay, I'm ready. I have everything ready too. Wow. Mary, you did something really unusual. Do you mind if I touch it? Hands off! This is a real delicacy. All right, Kate, it's your choice. I don't even know where to start. What's this black scrambled egg thing with white on top? I can't even cut it. Mmm, but these fried eggs with the gooey center look so appetizing. Just gotta try it. Delicious! This is exactly what I wanted. I wonder what this is. It looks really strange. It tastes really good. But still, I like plain old ordinary scrambled eggs the best. Yeah! Grandma, you won! Love ya! Grandma won! <laughs> Grandma beat them all! In this round, you're gonna need to try to make me a delicious burger. Easy peasy. Oh, I don't know anything about burgers. I love burgers! I might end up eating this myself. It's time to start cooking. It's time for me to win. Hey, that's my tomato! You can't just take it away. My granddaughter's not gonna get just a delicious burger, but also a very healthy burger. Tomato, onions, cucumber. 
I won't need any of that meat. You know it's really bad for you. No worse than your cooking. The main thing is to cook with love. Then my healthy burger won't just be healthy. But also delicious. <laughs> this is what I mean by healthy eating. None of your junk food. Even ghosts on a farm don't eat that much grass. I can't believe you're gonna give that to your granddaughter. What's a burger without an actual burger? It's the most important part. Then all you need is some cheese and sauce. I'm already drooling. Ah, stupid onion. Who came up with the idea to put this on burgers anyways? Oh, come on. I can't cook anything. Don't be upset. Here, have a piece of chocolate. A chocolate bar. That's it. That's such a great idea. Why cook a regular burger when I can make it sweet and chocolatey? This is gonna turn out so cool. Just a little more chocolate left. Wow. This is gonna be the coolest chocolate burger you've ever seen. And the cherry on top of the cake is gonna be this chocolate syrup. Makes my burger look amazing! Wow! I've never seen a chocolate burger before! I think it's gonna be really tasty. Mmm, this is amazing! Let's see what'll happen next. Hey, where's the patty? What am I? Some goat on a farm? It tastes too healthy. Burgers like this don't put me in a very good mood. Whoa, but this third one's a real contender. This burger looks way cooler. Mmm, yummy. Just the thing for a perfect lunch. Which burger should I choose? The sweet one? Or the hearty one. No, after all, I like sweet more. It's way more original. Yeah! Woohoo! I won! <laughs> what are we gonna cook this time? I want pancakes. I haven't had those in a while. Oh, I'll show you guys. You're gonna get it from me. I don't know how to make those. What should I do? Well, get started. My only chance is to watch everybody else cook. Apparently, you gotta start with milk. And now it's time for the eggs. And now you have to add flour and mix it really well. I'm just saying, just in case you know, you forgot. Honey, I'm a grandma. I don't forget anything. And I don't need your electric devices. What should I do? Apparently all I have left is a fork. This is turning into some kind of disgusting porridge. <gasps> Ted, watch and learn. Your grandma's pancakes are the most delicious. So beautiful. I think it'll be very tasty. Mary, what are you doing? I want my pancakes to look cool too. So maybe if they're bright colors, they'll leave a more lasting impression. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Grandma, but looks like you've already lost. And if I can make my pancakes into an unusual shape… Well, then I'll be a genius! What should I do? I don't have anything ready at all! Maybe 
I should just dump this all onto the frying pan? Maybe that'll work? Kate, look how beautiful mine is. Try my pancakes instead. They're much tastier. Ah! It's on fire! What's that stink? I'm done too! All these pancakes look great! But first, I'll start with this beauty in the center. This girl looks like me! I've never seen a portrait of myself on a pancake before. And this pancake tastes incredible! But this little burnt lump doesn't look appetizing at all. I don't even think I'm gonna try it. Not. I guess all that's left is the pancake on the third plate. So yummy! This is definitely the most delicious pancake of them all! Well, Grandma? You've won! Hooray! I knew it! Oops, sorry. I'm gonna show you. Will you take that? No, you take that! I wonder what dish Ben made for the first challenge. Wow, a watermelon. But how can it be interesting to cook it? Well, Emma, what ideas do you have? Surely you can come up with something different. Hey, be careful! Yeah, it seems now Emma has a lot less options for cooking a watermelon. But you can still come up with something, right? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Cold chills, but how will they help you? No, it's definitely not gonna work. Hmm, and that too. No, it's not gonna work. A bucket? I'm afraid to ask, but what do you need it for? Ah, uh, this watermelon has already collected so much dust. It's definitely not a good option for food. Emma, you're going to throw this away, right? Oh no. She wants to serve such a dish to Ben. What a horror. Yeah, Grandma is disappointed. It's time to show Emma what a beautiful watermelon serving is. Let's go. Great. Let's see what's inside. Wow, the watermelon was cleaned just perfectly. Now we take a special knife to cut it beautifully. Wow. It remains to put these perfect pieces on a plate. That's it. Hmm, it seems there's one extra piece left. Why not eat it? Well, it's the turn of our chef, Betty. Look carefully because a real master is working. Wow, what an unusual shape! This is a real work of art. Now Betty cuts a little more from the edge. Now like this. Mm, something's missing. Wait, Betty's doing miracles. And… Look at this! It's incredible! It's just perfection! Bravo, Betty! All three dishes are ready, which means that's time to make a choice. Wow! How cool everything looks! Let's start with this dish! Mmm, what a juicy piece! Watermelon without peel is super. Definitely like it. So what is this? Um, is this a joke? There's some dirt on a watermelon. Uh, disgusting. Whoa, but this is already interesting. Let's try it. I wonder if Ben will like Betty's dish. It seems one piece was not enough for him. This is already a good sign. It seems the choice is between grandma's dish and Betty's. Of course, our chef is winning. Congratulations to Betty. A worthy and most importantly deserved victory. What can I say? A master. A new challenge. And this is… An egg with a surprise? Wow. How can it be cooked? I have no clue, bud. I'll try. Hmm, what can be easier? I need this, and that, um, and this. And how do I cook it? Um, we can try it that way and this way. Oh no! Oh, it looks like grandma's egg came out of the shell. And what should she do now? 
Hmm. Of course. We pour out the remains of the egg, leave the shell, it'll be useful to us. Now a little gelatin and some water. We throw a piece of kiwi there and mix it. Then we need to do the same thing but with a different color. Wow, there's so many different beautiful colors! Now we take the resulting liquid and the syringe like this. Great. And now the shell will come in handy. We pour liquids of different colors into it. Super. But Betty doesn't seem to be impressed. I'm gonna show you what a real egg is with a surprise. To begin with, melt the white chocolate. It turned out to be a perfect chocolate cream. We pour it into three different containers. Now we'll add a little color. Perfect. One. Two. Three. Now we need a special egg form. We pour our miracle cream there. Shake it a little. Now it remains to cool it off. Let's open it. Oh yeah. That's what we need. Just perfect. I'll add some whipped cream and filling inside our shell. Closing it. And voila! The world's best surprise eggs are ready. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah. It's time to peel the shell and look at my result. Yes. I think Ben will like my dessert more. Just look at this beauty. Emma, what, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Emma, you really need to figure out what to do. There's not much time left. And it seems she has an idea. Maybe it's that surprise that will be in the egg or in a balloon. Does anyone understand what she's up to? What? Nutella? Why is Emma covering this ball with Nutella? So many questions. Only one thing is clear for sure. With Nutella, even a balloon looks delicious. Still, it's interesting to know what it all means. Now the final touch. Swiss sprinkles. But it's still not edible. Well, time is up. Time for Ben to make a choice. One, two, three, and… I'll start with this. Whoa. So many colors! Is that jelly? I don't like jelly, but in general it's not bad. What do we have here? Wow! How much whipped cream! I love it! And chocolate? It just melts in your mouth! Just super! <gasps> what a huge dessert! Wow. Emma, was it really all a prank? Well, at least the surprise turned out to be real. Although, something tells me that it will not be enough to win. Who's going to win, Ben? Of course, of course it's Betty's dish. Another confident victory. Bravo! What oasis in the third round. A donut? Great! I hope our participants have enough experience in cooking donuts. And they'll be able to impress us with their culinary skills. While well, Betty confidently begins to prepare the dough. Of course, nothing is easier for a professional like her. Now she's whipping it up. What a sleigh of hand. The dough is almost ready. The matter remains for a small one. We cut a large piece of dough into several small ones. Wait, why is Betty doing this? Is she going to cook a lot of donuts? Hmm, now she's adding dye to a piece of dough. How beautiful. And a little piece. Now we need to roll it out. We roll it out properly with a rolling pin, like this. Hmm, it seems now everything has become clear. We also roll out other pieces painted in different colors. Put the pieces on top of each other. And now we turn it all into one big rainbow piece of dough. Then we twist it like this. Betty, how beautiful! Now we need to bake it. Oh, what a fresh apple! I'll need it. Hey! We have a thief in the kitchen. <laughs> Emma, you better cook. Grandma, be careful. Emma's going to eat all your ingredients. Oh, it seems our thief has been discovered. What are we going to do with her, Grandma? I'll have to think about it. Oh, no better way to teach a bully than a lesson of old prank. 
Well, hold on, Emma. Now instead of the sweetness of an apple, the bitterness of a fresh onion awaits you. That's disgusting! Maybe this prank will bring Emma to her sense a little. Hey, wake up, Emma! It's high time for you to start cooking. Um, what are you… An interesting way to give a donut the necessary shape. The main thing is that it worked. And whipped cream. Not bad. A little candy on top for extra flavor. Yeah, unfortunately, only a little. Well, that's fine. It'll do. Now Emma can safely go back to her phone. <laughs> and how's grandma's dish? Wow. Grandma puts a piece of apple on a stick. Dips the apple into the dough. And now she's sanding it into boiling oil. Just a couple of minutes and… Wow. How delicious it looks. We pour all this beauty with chocolate syrup. Our chef has almost everything ready. What a big and beautiful donut! Betty cuts it in half. It looks like she's going to add the feeling. Oh, so much cream! A little sprinkles. Perfect. Now we cover it all from above. Ready. Wow. <laughs> Emma, actually we're starting. Oh, yeah, bon appetit. Oh, went in the third round. Hmm, it seems Ben wants to start with Betty's donut. Wow! It's so big! There's so much cream in it! Looks like it's too big and there's too much cream in it. Uh, it fell apart! Okay. Now it's Emma's turn. I must say it looks good. Let's taste it. Not bad. And finally, Grandma's donut. Wow! Well, Ben, what do you say? It's good! Yeah, he definitely liked it. And we have decided on the winner. Congratulations to grandma. This is a well-deserved victory. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, um, thank you, grandson. That's it. I want this jelly. Jelly? I can do it. Just take gelatine. More sugar. And of course, water. Let's mix it up. There should be a lot of good jelly. Of all tastes and colors. This form is perfect. Well, we will fill the first layer. And I'll add homemade <laughs> strawberry jam from grandma to my wow. jelly. Mixing it up. Doing it well. Now I need something from my purse. False teeth. No. Knitting kit? Not either. And here is my mold. Yes. That's where I'll pour my jelly. Oh no, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, shit. My glasses. I can't see anything at all. I'll put the jelly in the refrigerator. Then I'll look for them. Where am I? It's hot in here. And how it's cold here. Ah! Uh, and now it's really damp. Gelatine? Well, no, marmalade is better. Hello, Mr. Bear. You ate my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. Now I'll put you all in the plate. And I'll try one. Okay, fine, I'd rather not. A little here, here, and here. Yeah, more. Something is missing. Oh, for sure, strawberries will perfectly complement my marmalade cube. Cool. Oh, that was great. And now, other layers. Beauty, the only thing left to decorate with strawberries, and it's perfect. Now this delicious cream. I will decorate each layer. Doing it like a pro. And a couple more strawberries on the top. 
perfect. Ah, oh, Grandma's back. Grandma, wait! Here are your glasses! Is that better? Oh, thank you, Ben. You're such a good boy. <laughs> what kind of plants are these? The only thing left to lay out the jelly. Let's see. Yeah. Paige, what do you think? Wow, so much jelly! Where to start? I'll start with this cube. These are marmalade bears, I love them! I'll take the whole cube at once. Hey, they're scattered! And the cube is empty. It won't do. Let's try grandma's jelly. It's so elastic. Even too elastic. I need a fork. Oh, you can't even pierce it. Okay, I'll have to work with my hands. But what's inside? Grandma, are these your glasses? Ah, ew. All right, jelly cake, it's your time. How funny it shakes. Let's try it. Mmm, jelly. Strawberry and cream go so well together. Tina, you've won, and I want more. Well, how could it be otherwise? Well, well, now I want ice cream. Can you handle it? That's right, it's easy. Milk from a bottle? Well, no, I need the freshest ingredients. Hello, cow. Thanks for the fresh milk. Now I will mix this milk with sugar in my professional mixer. I'll pour it into mold and insert sticks. Let's put the mold in the bowl and get something out of my suitcase. Liquid nitrogen will instantly freeze ice cream. Aw, oh, Tina, you're complicating things again. Watch and learn. We'll put the ice cream aside. And in the meantime, we'll make waffles from milk, sugar, flour, and eggs. Mix it well together. And pour the dough into the waffle iron. Wait a bit. And while the waffle is still hot, we make a cone out of it. Just in this shape. Ah, perfect. And now I'll take the ice cream to the refrigerator. Let it harden for now. Just wait a bit. Milk? It's too complicated. Oh, that's right. I have an idea. I'll take Sprite and stick a wand in it. Now I'll freeze it in the refrigerator. Grandma, did you fall asleep? What? What? Oh, I dozed off. Thanks for waking me up, Ben. My ice cream is frozen. And I'll freeze mine. Oh, perfect popsicle. The perfect one was in my childhood. And this one is, ah, oh, fine. Okay, Grandma, the only thing left is to cover my popsicle with icing and small decorations to give them the look of cute animals. Paige will definitely like it. Oh, I know what Paige likes. Now I'm going to make a few balls out of my ice cream. Just what you need. Oh. And the ice cream itself really turned out delicious. <laughs> Do you want to try it, Ben? Sorry, Grandma, I'm busy. It's not coming out. Oh, I hadn't thought of it at all. Although, I'll just cut the bottle with a chainsaw. Remove the axes and my ice cream is ready. Huh, cool. Help yourself, Paige. Wow, that's great. And what is this? Heavy. It seems not bad. Oh, it fell and broke. Oops, too much of a person. 
Which popsicle to choose? Wow! Let there be a pig. Hmm, it's so delicious. And very cute. And what does grandma have? Wow, like in my drawing. Mmm, it tastes even better than I imagined. Grandma, this is definitely a victory. Oh, yes. Well, take a bite, Tina. Don't worry, Ben. 